Andrew Johnson, a presidency shaped by turmoil. Born in Raleigh, North Carolina in 1808, Andrew Johnson's early life was marked by hardship and poverty. His father's death left the family destitute, shaping the resilience and self-reliance that would characterize Johnson's later political career. In his teenage years, Johnson was apprenticed to a tailor. Unwilling to accept this fate, he made a daring escape from his apprenticeship. This act of defiance marked the beginning of a journey that would lead him far from the tailor's shop. Johnson's move to Tennessee was a turning point. Here, he met and married Eliza McArdle in 1827. Eliza's education played a key role in Johnson's self-improvement, teaching him to write and do basic arithmetic, skills that would prove invaluable in his political life. Entering politics, Johnson first served as an alderman, then as mayor of Greenville, Tennessee. These early roles in local government offered him a platform to hone his leadership and public speaking skills, laying the groundwork for his future political ambitions. His political journey continued with his election to the Tennessee State Legislature in 1835 and again in 1839. These terms allowed Johnson to gain valuable legislative experience and build a network of allies, setting the stage for his ascent to national politics. Andrew Johnson's political journey escalated when he served as a U.S. representative from 1843 to 1853. His tenure was marked by advocacy for the working class, reflecting his humble beginnings and setting the stage for his later political endeavors. In 1853, Johnson's influence in Tennessee politics culminated in his election as governor. His re-election in 1855 underscored his popularity. As governor, he focused on infrastructure improvements and public education, laying foundational work for the state's future. Transitioning to a broader arena, Johnson was elected to the U.S. Senate in 1857. Amidst growing national tensions, he staunchly defended the Union, earning respect and criticism alike. His Unionist stance during a time of division highlighted his political courage. As the Civil War tore the nation apart, Johnson's unwavering loyalty to the Union caught President Lincoln's attention. In 1862, Lincoln appointed him as military governor of Tennessee, a role in which Johnson fought to restore order and Union control in the state. Johnson's commitment to the Union paved his way to the vice presidency in 1864, running alongside Abraham Lincoln. Their victory symbolized a beacon of hope for a divided nation. However, tragedy struck in 1865 when Lincoln's assassination thrust Johnson into the presidency, setting the stage for tumultuous years ahead. Andrew Johnson found himself thrust into the presidency after the tragic assassination of Abraham Lincoln in 1865. His unexpected ascension marked a pivotal moment in American history, steering the nation through the tumultuous Reconstruction era. As president, Johnson faced the Herculean task of reunifying a nation fractured by civil war. His approach to Reconstruction policies sparked intense debate. He advocated for a lenient reintegration of the Southern states, clashing with the more punitive measures favored by radical Republicans. Johnson's veto of the Civil Rights Bill in 1866 underscored his contentious relationship with Congress. This act was seen as a direct affront to efforts aimed at securing rights for freed slaves, deepening the rift with radical Republicans determined to reshape the South. The conflict reached its zenith in 1868 when Johnson became the first U.S. president to be impeached. His dismissal of Secretary of War Edwin Stanton was the final straw for his opponents, who saw this as a violation of the Tenure of Office Act. However, by a single vote, Johnson narrowly avoided removal from office. Despite the impeachment ordeal, Johnson focused on foreign policy achievements, such as the Alaska Purchase and navigating the complexities of the Maximilian Affair. These efforts, however, were overshadowed by his domestic challenges and controversial stance on Reconstruction. Andrew Johnson's foreign policy achievements notably include the Alaska Purchase in 1867. This strategic acquisition from Russia expanded U.S. territory and showcased Johnson's vision for America's expansion and influence. During his presidency, Johnson also navigated the complex Maximilian Affair, applying diplomatic pressure to support the removal of French troops from Mexico. This move reinforced the Monroe Doctrine and highlighted Johnson's commitment to defending republicanism in the Western Hemisphere. 
Despite his impeachment and the controversies that marred his presidency, Johnson focused on efforts to reintegrate the southern states back into the Union. His policies aimed at quick restoration, though they often clashed with congressional reconstruction plans, reflecting his complex legacy. After his presidency, Johnson sought to return to public service, facing initial setbacks with unsuccessful runs for the Senate in 1869 and the House in 1872. His persistence in political engagement underscored his unwavering commitment to public life. In 1875, Johnson made history by returning to the U.S. Senate, becoming the only former president to do so. This remarkable comeback, however, was short-lived as he died in July 1875, leaving a legacy filled with achievements and controversies. Andrew Johnson's impact on the U.S. political structure and Reconstruction era was profound yet divisive. His policies and resistance to radical Republican efforts to protect newly freed African Americans shaped the tumultuous post-Civil War period, leaving a legacy of controversy and debate. Rising from a humble tailor to the presidency, Andrew Johnson's journey is a testament to the complexities of American history. His tenure illustrates the challenges of leadership during one of the nation's most fraught epochs, embodying the contradictions and struggles of his time.